السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ہاؤ وی کین ٹریس اے سرکٹ ہاؤ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اے سرکٹ دس ویڈیو از ویری امپورٹنٹ فار مائی دوز ویورس ہو وانٹ ٹو نو ہاؤ ٹو فالو دا سرکٹ واٹ از کمنگ ان واٹ از کمنگ آؤٹ فار دیٹ پرپز آئی ول یوز دس یونیورسل کار الارم سرکٹ سینٹرل لاک سسٹم I don't have circuit diagram for this model. Mentioned here, Lilia's Racing HEB1980A. So in this session, we will trace the circuit step by step and then we will discuss how we can repair it. When we have a clear concept about working principle of the circuit, then we can take approach to repair, to fix, to troubleshoot, that circuit let's start here are four connectors 1 2 3 4 3 three pins 2 pins here are 10 pins 2 4 6 8 10 and here 2 4 6 and this one wire we will study a role of each wire in this circuit these three wires then these three wires We will start from this connector, orange, white, yellow, orange black, this barbed wire, stripped wire, white black, yellow black. That means this is one set, this is one set. This orange wire is reaching here at this point. White wire is reaching here at this point. yellow wire reaching at this point 1 2 3 orange black reaching to this point white black reaching to this point yellow black reaching to this point that means these are two assignments 1 2 3 1 2 3 If you look back here here are two relays 1 2 that means each relay is connected with three wires first three wires to first relay second three wires to second relay now if we check continuity this wire common wire is coming at this point check continuity with right one that means any signal either it is ground or positive when this circuit is off that voltage either ground or positive will come out from this relay contact and it will reach to this orange wire this is open when this relay will receive signal on these two points that are coil winding that time this relay will turn on based on lock or unlock signal that relay will turn on and it will connect this wire to this line normally closed points and c points yellow normally open points when relay will turn on that time this voltage will switch to this wire it depends on the car type if car needs negative trigger signal that time this terminal will connect it to battery negative terminal and we will receive negative switched voltage ground voltage if you are installing actuator lock actuators that time this point will be connected to positive and actuator will connect it on this wire when it will turn on it will provide voltage to the actuator so actuator will lock the gate actuator second wire is connected to ground orange white yellow
So we can say white wire is normally connected to orange wire, yellow is now open. When this relay will turn on that time we will receive switched voltage on this yellow wire. Same in the second connection. Orange black, white black, yellow black. Here is also relay winding. So this relay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. And this relay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. We can say it is just only switch wires. Any voltage level we will provide here if it is for lock if we press this button and it provides voltage on this wire that means this relay for locking locking the gates locking the doors and if this relay will operate with this switch that means it is for unlocking This circuit already damaged from this point, so we will repair it. This relay has five points. This point is common point. One point normally closed, second normally open. These two points for winding. There is no number marking on this relay. I am removing these relays to take a clear concept of the circuit. Otherwise no need to remove any component from the board. It is just for best understanding of the circuit. This point is common point. We can see there is a mark there is marking on the relay. Common is normally closed with this point and it is open from here. Same way here. This is K1, K2. Now if we check relay winding, this point is connected with this point. That means these points are common points. And if we check this one, relay second, relay winding second end, it is coming to pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 number pin. So pin number 15 is connected to this winding. And if we check this common point, This common point is connected to this common point, this one. And if we check this one, this point, it is coming here to this diode. And this is positive battery terminal here. That means positive voltage through this diode will reach to all common points of the release. This common this common, this common, this point and this point and second relay will take drive from pin number 14. So pin number 15 is connected to this pin. Any signal coming from here from this big microcontroller microchip it will reach to pin number 15. Three 14. So drive signal, any signal coming here will reach to this relay. Now I will check continuity with the PCB connector. Sometimes 
these wires make corrosion bad contact with the PCB we can see this wire is making bad connection yes first two wires are making bad connection open circuit this is also disconnected good good three wires out of six are making bad connection so this circuit will not work if we install in this way it will not work anymore yes we can see this condition the same condition is in this connector it will never allow to make good connection I will use this metallic brush Yes, now we can see it is giving continuity. All six wires are now given continuity. Might be due to this bad connection it was not locking or unlocking the car. Let's see next circuit. Then this point, yellow wire. Normally this yellow wire is used to connect a relay here to cut the fuel pump. This yellow wire is coming here, then to this point and closer to that black wire. Black wire is also reaching this point. These both points are reaching to these resistors, 10 ohm resistor. This is reaching at pin number 16 of ULN2003. This wire is reaching here then I think it will reach to this point yellow wire is reaching here black wire reaching here this drive ten ohm resistor ULN2003 pin number 16 now if we see ULN2003 it is transistor array and this is its output side that means 
this is output yellow wire is output wire that means yellow wire is a drive signal it will drive a relay so this signal is a drive signal relay will be connected here and when this relay will turn on it will shift these points to operate or disconnect the fuel pump then black wire normally black wire is considered ground wire but here it is output signal might be it will disconnect the ignition relay so it is also drive signal might be it will disconnect ignition switch but in normal universal alarm system black wire is considered as a ground wire next wire is brown wire in normal universal alarm systems brown wire is sight indicator but now here 1 2 3 it is signal yes it is coming to this point that means it is input signal any signal that is coming to high value resistor that is input signal that means this brown wire it is connected to 100k resistor it is input signal might be it is some sense signal then this purple wire the purple wire is most commonly used as a siren signal but in this harness this purple wire is also coming as a input signal purple wire it is also some input signal it is connected to diode when any signal is connected to cathode that means ground side will connected here then this red wire there is a fuse connected 15 ampere fuse when it is connected with fuse that means that is supply line so it will provide power to this circuit Fifteen ampere fuse, red color, twelve volt battery. Let's check it. Red wire reaching here to this point, this point, this point. These are common points of these three relays, and it is also reaching at this point. And same twelve volt are reaching from here. inside from the pcb to this point then here and this point this common point and same 12 volt so this supply is reaching to anode of this diode anode of this diode it is one way conductor after red wire this brown wire it is connected to chassis so it is a return path brown wire normally is used as a turning light but here it is ground wire brown wire ground then this green wire in normal universal alarm systems this wire is used to operate the trunk release relay here green wire if we check this green wire it is reaching to what we this point we will check this green wire
then this orange wire it is discolored and it is orange wire this wire is discolored it is looking as yellow wire it is connected here at this relay white wire here blue wire here these three wires are connected to these three relays in normal universal alarm systems blue wire is used as a door switch but here it is a drive signal it is not a sense signal white wire it is also drive signal orange drive signal white be two indicator lights and one siren This common point is connected to 12 volt. If these two are using for turning lights, that time these will operate at the same time, and this one operates separately to operate the siren. Now we can see this relay K1, K2, K3, K4, all four relays and the last relay K5 are connected to same line. all relays one end is connected to this point which we discussed to this diode so this indication for this point now if we check K5, K5, this is K5, K4, K3, K5 is connected to 9, 10, 11, 12. Now K4 winding this end is connected with K3. And these are connected to this point, pin number 13. These two relays will operate together. That means these K3 and K4 are used as indicator lights, side indicators. Pin number 13. Turn indicator. turn light or turn indicator or parking light whatsoever so this is siren now here are two wires this connector these pins are loose dry joint if we check this connector 
these pins are moving in the PCB bed joint bed soldering here yes and these two wires are coming to these two points 472 4.7k resistor 472 4.7k resistor this one it is reaching to pin number 9 10 11 so it is drive signal four point seven K if we see this wire is connected to positive terminal that means positive 12 volt are connected at this point and the second wire this wire coming here this wire coming here it is connected to this resistor 4.7k and it is connected to positive terminal 12 volt that means 12 volt are connected here to this point then on these two wires there is LED signal LED It is connected to pin number 11 shock sensor this wire grounded these both wires reaching here and here this point and this wire This wire is reaching at this point. Yes, we can see there is also disconnection from this cylinder. This cylinder is not connected to the inner side. That is this point. This point is connected here. Then it is not connected to this point until here the connection is good but this connection is not passing to inside we can see this track is reaching here then from the underside of PCB it is reaching here at this point there is disconnection in this cylinder and then it is reaching to this point so this is also problem in this PCB that this cylinder is bad We can see here is problem.
this cylinder is connected here but it is not connected here connection is good here but not connected here it is not making connection here this distance connection from here The signal reaches here and then it reaches here. we can see this visible disconnection it is not connected to cylinder here this corner is opened from the cylinder So it is much better to connect directly at this point. Now if we check this point is reaching here to this 100 ohm resistor and then it is connected to positive voltage. That means it will receive supply voltage from this 100 ohm resistor plus 12 volt and sensor this end is now reaching at this point to this point then our this signal will reach from shock sensor and it will reach to this diode D2 then it will reach to this microprocessor Until now, we got a very clear concept of about the circuit, what is input, what is output. In upcoming session, I will install these relays in the PCB, we will apply power and we will perform practical testing and we will make a test circuit for this unit. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.